traditional wedding anniversaries. Yeah, we're going to show you two lists of wedding anniversaries, six on each pass. Uh, we asked 100 people for the name commonly associated with those anniversaries. If you give us a nice obscure answer, you'll score a few points. If you give us an incorrect answer, though, you're going to score 100 points. So we want the gifts commonly given on these anniversaries, and we're taking our answers from Brewer's Dictionary of Phrase and Fable. So, we are looking for the names traditionally given to these wedding anniversaries, and we have got 3rd, 25th, 35th, 40th, 50th, 55th. Let me read those again. 3rd, 25th, 35th, 40th, 50th, 55th. Now, as always on Pointless, you are looking for the answer that the fewest of our 100 people knew. So, which one, Stacey, are you going to go for? Well, I'm not married, so I've never had any of those anniversaries, and I have not a clue, except a couple of obvious ones, which I'm going to have to go for, because I can't risk it. Well, remember, going for an obvious one isn't a bad thing, because you're, you're removing that for other people, so... It's true. So, I'm going to go for 25th, which is silver. 25th silver, you're saying. Let's see if that's right, and if it is, let's see how many people knew that answer. 59, that's not bad. <laughs> Could be a lot worse, yeah, couldn't it? 59, not a bad score. Richard? Uh, yeah, big score, but a correct answer. It's a tough round, this one, isn't it? Yeah, isn't 20, it? 25 years silver. Excellent. Now then, Paul. How are you feeling about this? I'm panicking slightly um, because I want to go for an obscure one and I do have something in my mind, um, mainly because I recently celebrated my third wedding anniversary and my husband very kindly bought me uh, an object that I'm hoping represents third wedding anniversary, which was, um, it was a leather pen holder. So unless pen holder's the answer, which I hope it isn't. I'm going with leather for the third anniversary. Third anniversary, leather. Let's see if that's a right answer. And if it is, let's see how many people knew that answer. Be a great answer if it's right. It is right. Very well done. Down it goes. Look at that. Five points ball. <laughs> That pen holders turned out to be very valuable indeed. That has oh. scored you only five points in this difficult round. Richard? Yeah, well played, Paul. That fell very nicely for you, didn't it? Leather is the third one. When the magic is still in a marriage, isn't it? And you can get away with leather. <laughs> <laughs> now then, Anne, we come to you. Remember, we are looking for the names traditionally given to these wedding anniversaries. You're the last person to have this selection, so you can talk us through this board and tell us what all the answers are, if you like. <laughs> Well, I have celebrated five out of the six. That, I'm hoping, makes you an authority. No. <laughs> <laughs> the 40th is ruby and the 50th is gold. But I'm going to take a chance here. So I'm going to go for the 35th, which I'm hoping could be coral. <laughs> 35th coral. OK, well, let's see if that's right. And if it is, let's see how many people knew that answer. Good luck, Anne. It's right! Oh, very well done, Anne. This could go a long way down. And it does, down to nine. Very well done, indeed. <laughs> Coral, Richard. Yeah, that's brilliantly played, Anne. Uh, very well done, a very good risk to take. Uh, let's take a look through the rest of the board, and you took us through most of it, actually. Uh, 50th, as you say, is, uh, is golden, is gold. Uh, would have scored 69 points, so a lot of points, so you did well to avoid it. 40th is ruby, that would have scored you more points as well, that would have scored you 35. And 55th is the, is the best answer on the board, actually, just scores four points. Very well done at home if you've either celebrated this or you got the answer anyway. It's emerald. Emerald is uh, oh. 55th, scores four points. Thanks very much, Richard. Pleasure. Well, we're halfway through the round, so let's take a look at the scores. Paul and Colin, thanks to that pen holder, five. The best, the best scorers on this pass. Not very far behind you are Anne and Sue on nine. And, oh, bad luck, Stacey, 59. Yes, that, that's a high score, but you did what you had to do. OK, we're going to come back down the line. Can the second players please take their places at the podium? <laughs> OK, we're going to put six more anniversaries on the board, and here they are. We have got... First, fifth, tenth, eleventh, thirtieth, and sixtieth. First, fifth, tenth, eleventh, thirtieth, and sixtieth. 
Now, remember, we are looking for the names traditionally given to these wedding anniversaries. Obviously, you're trying to find the one that the fewest of our 100 people knew. Sue, so how brilliant was Anne? She was fantastic. She knew her way around that board. Okay. She probably knows her way around this board as well. I'm hoping you do too. I don't. Uh, there's only one on there that I could be sure of, and so I'm going to have to go with that and uh, hope that everybody else is as clueless as I am about it. But I'm going to say the 60th is Diamond. 60th Diamond, you are saying. Let's see if Diamond 60th is right. If it is, let's see how many people said it. You've done it. You are through to the next round. Very well done, Sue. That scores you 38, takes your total up to 47. Richard? Yeah, well done, Sue. Well played. I think you probably deserve a diamond after 60 years, don't you? <laughs> OK, now, Colin. Remember, we are looking for the names traditionally given to these wedding anniversaries. OK. We come to you. You are on five. You're on five. The high scorers are Fred and Stacey on 59. You only have to score 53 or less. And you are through to the head-to-head. -head. I think I know the first, but I'm going to go... I'm more sure of the 30th, because that's my age. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, that is Pearl. 30th is Pearl. Let's see if Pearl's right, and if it is, let's see how many people said Pearl. It's right. You are through to the head-to-head. -head. 14, that's a great score. Look at that, 14. Takes your total up to 19. Richard? Yeah, very well played, Colin. Uh, absolutely, it's Pearl. Uh, it's a very tough round. I think everyone's doing incredibly well. Very tough, indeed. Very tough. And I'm afraid so tough, Fred and Stacey, that the writing is now on the wall. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say you will be leaving us at the end of this round. However, not before, Fred. You can dazzle us with the best answer on the board. I knew the two that had already gone. Uh, I would say that first is paper. And I'm guessing at the rest, but um, in the off chance that nobody knows what the 11th is, I'm going to have a wild stab at that, because it might put 250 in the pot for these other two couples. So, um, Tom between... I think Crystal's more 10th. I'll go Pewter for 11th. Pewter for 11th. Yeah. Pewter. Well, as a, it's, a, it's a selfless act, Fred, to try and swell the pot at this stage. Let's hope you do. Uh, pewter. For 11th, is it right how many people said it? No. <laughs> Good try, bad luck. I'm afraid that's an incorrect answer. Not that it matters, you score 100 points, takes your total up to 159, but well tried. Richard? Yeah, as you say, a selfless act, so well tried. It's not pewter, it's steel, the 11th anniversary. What? First anniversary is paper, but would have scored you a very high score. That was, um, that was 63. The fifth is wood. Get wood on your fifth anniversary, would have scored you 12. Uh, and the tenth is... Tin. The tenth is tin. Uh, would have scored you five points. Very well done if you said steel. That's the best answer on that board. Thanks very much, Richard. So at the end of round two, the losing pair with the highest score. I'm sorry to say it's Stacy and Fred. Who's going to carry the can for this? I think it's split both it's ways. It's split, yeah. yeah. It's fairly even split. M my fault this time. Here's the time before. <laughs> well, there we are. Well, it's been lovely having you on the show. Thank you so much for playing. Great contestants. Thank you. <laughs>